This is a video for discoverdigitalphotography.com. In this video I'm going to show you how you can create a photo where you've got a subject with a shadow that doesn't match the subject. So for this example I'm using a knife that has got the shadow of a fork. So to get started you need a photo of a fork and a photo of a knife and what I've done when taking these photos is I've used an off-camera flash and I've positioned it quite low and off to the um, left of the subject so when the flashlight comes over it's creating a shadow on the background which is just a piece of white plastic and you can see I've kept the lighting the same for both images and then the camera was just pointing straight down to capture them so I've opened both the photos in Photoshop here and then what I'm going to do is if I pull this down here and in the layers palette if I click on the layer hold down the shift key on the keyboard and then click and drag it over to the other image and you can see now we've got both the knife and fork layer in the same image so I can close that image and we don't need to save that now the next thing I need to do is I need to align the two layers so with the top layer activated I'm going to change the opacity to 50% and that makes the layer slightly transparent so we can see through it and then I'm just going to move it and the underlying layer of the fork which is the um, layer I want to use for the shadow I'm going to move that slightly so I'm just moving the centre of rotation here, just clicking on it, dragging it down to near the bottom. And I'm using the um, Move tool. And now I'm just rotating it slightly. And hopefully what you can see I'm trying to do is the fork. I need it to be hidden entirely behind the knife so that only the shadow is showing outside of the knife because we want the um, fork to be hidden behind the knife and we want the shadow to be outside of it and let's just yeah that looks like that alignment is quite good there so I'm just going to press enter to apply the transformation And I'm going to select the top layer of the knife and change the opacity back to 100%. Now the next thing we need to do is to use a layer mask so we can hide the shadow of the knife and reveal the shadow of the fork from the layer below. So I'm going to add a layer mask here and I'm going to zoom in a bit. I'm going to use the brush tool for something like this knife you could use the pen tool because it's got nice um, flat edges but um, it can be easier using the, the brush tool for most objects and on a layer mask you paint black to hide and white to reveal so I've got black as my foreground colour you can see my brush I've got a fairly hard edge on it because the um, object has quite a hard edge here and then I'm just going to paint over the shadow here, revealing the layer underneath with the fork's shadow. Just going to go along the knife. Carry on down. Oops. I'm just clicking, holding the shift key and then clicking again for this bit and what that does is it draws a straight line with the brush between where you first click and where you secondly click. It's a nice way to get a straight line with the brush tool. So that's all that bit done. 
we just need to finish off the top of the brush shadow up here. There we go. And if we zoom out, we can see the full image. And um, that's it, basically it. Um, the other thing I'll do is I'll crop the image down slightly, get rid of the carpet. You just have to wait while it processes the crop. And I'll add a vignette around the edge. To do that, I'm going to add a gradient layer. I'm going to use a radial gradient. And I've got black to transparent. I'm going to click reverse. So now it's black around the edges and it's transparent in the middle. I'm going to up the scale slightly, maybe not quite that much. Something like that. and reduce the opacity. And the good thing about using adjustment layers like this is you can double click on it and then you can change it again. And just modify it as you see fit. And one other thing is this um, knife, ideally you'd use um, quite clean new cutlery if you wanted to get a photo like like this, I'm not quite sure if you'd want to get exactly the same picture. Um, I'm just going to do zoom in a bit more, maybe a little bit too much, and just get rid of the worst marks on the knife. Just clean it up a little bit. This is just using the dust spot removal brush, just click and then it will copy using the green part, it will copy to the red part where you've brushed. Just checking this and it looks like despite this being stainless steel we've got a little bit of rust there so it's going to use an adjustment brush with saturation set to minus 100, everything else set to zero, and then we can just desaturate that rust to get rid of it. Although with this image I think I might actually desaturate the whole image anyway, but there we go. Just see what it looks like. Fully desaturated. Yep, I think I prefer it fully desaturated as a black and white. And so there we've got the final image of the knife with the fork shadow.